Hey, what's up? Welcome to the bonus six days of game and toy reviews. In case you didn't watch the first one, this is your first time here. These are not for kids. My reviews are not for kids to tell them if the game's fun or not. It's more for the adults before they waste their hard-earned money buying a game. Turns out to be a piece of shit. Nobody wants to play with it. Not your kid, not you. You kind of regret throwing your money out the window. So that's who these are aimed towards. I've had a lot of requests because I put fillers out to see if this was something I should do. A lot of people want me to review adult games and toys. And I'll do that later if this catches on. But for right now, I'm just trying to keep you all from wasting your money. So I have no sponsorship, no allegiance towards anybody. And to prove that, the last game I reviewed, which I'll put a little card whoosh, right there, was the new Mousetrap. And it was by Hasbro. This game, uh, Mousetrap, watch the video, you'll see my opinion of it. This game is also made by, made by Hasbro. But I love this game. You adults could turn it into a drinking game. If you want, it's really simple. Uh, it's different every time because Daddy doesn't wake up the same time every time. Real easy to assemble, Daddy. He has a little cap. My granddaughter's favorite part is his cap flying off his head. So I'm going to stick his cap on. Now, if they would have put a little more effort into it, they could have closed his eyes so he doesn't look so damn freaky. Comes with this little spinner. These cards, and it comes with several player car character cards. Equal number, girls and boys. But you have all these cards, and they're all screwed up, but I'm just trying to give you the gist of how it's played. And it comes with a playing board. So let me pull out one guy, one character, and that's all that's here in me. You lay it out. It even shows you how to lay the bed so that you get daddy right. So, you got your little footy thing for the, the character. Stick him in there just like that. And you start on your color bed. I pick green because green is my favorite color. So he's on the green bed. It really don't matter what bed you're on, but they did it, so that's it. My granddaughter's kind of like me in a lot of ways, and well, the beds are green, so your character's green, you need to be on green. What I'm doing now is going through pulling out player cards. I don't really see that many people playing the game at one time. Uh, two, maybe three at the most. Uh, I don't know that four, well, four might be all right. Well, the game goes pretty quick with three people. <clears throat> All right, so you take the cards, you shuffle them all up, and I'm going to turn it over so you can see because it has nothing to do with nothing. But each card has a picture and a color on it, which is on the board. So you evenly distribute them. If you have an odd number of players, you're going to wind up with one card left over. And when one card is left over, it gets set down in a neutral place, and if anybody lands on that card, they don't have to do anything. When you go around the spaces, let me hold that up so you can see it. Because I don't know if that camera angle is right or not. But you go around the spaces, it has a number. Oh, has a number. Like number three, if you land on that one. If you have that card, if you have the skate card in your hand, because it, like I said, I get it distributed out, you don't have to do anything. You just land on it. Land on a blank space like this one that has nothing, you don't do anything. But if you don't have this card and you land on that one, well that's when you gotta push daddy three times. Way well, you know where to go, you ain't gotta know how to count just colors. Now this white space here with the purple star in it, that means you've got a free spot, you don't have to do anything. It's like a no turn or no go or whatever, free turn. You don't have to do anything. So you spin it and it says it go to green, goes green. I don't have that card, so I have to push things. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Spin again. I'm just going to keep landing on because I'm trying to keep this kind of short and just trying to show you how the games play. Got four. One, two, three, four. Ah, next one. Got another four. One, two, three, four. See, it doesn't always go quick. That's the thing I like about it. It may go on like the third click sometimes, and sometimes it may go like 12, 15 clicks before it goes. And there you go. It's that simple, but it says on the box for ages three, three and up. And I think that's a fair assessment. In case, unless your kid is just, don't take it personal and get upset. Unless your kid's a little slow on the up sweep, Pretty much any kid can play this. The game's put together much better than Mousetrap. It works every time. Uh, and that's why this is a quick review. I definitely recommend it. Uh, it actually has a real board, not a shitty board. Uh, the spinner thing, kids don't even know how to, have to know how to count. They just have to know you go to whatever color's on there. But it, it's really that simple. It's a fun game. Uh, my granddaughter loves it. I love it, which is why I wanted to do a review of it. And to show that I'm not biased towards a company or anything like that, this, the same company makes that shitty version of Mousetrap makes that game. But I 100% recommend this game. Uh, that's really all i got to say about it. It's, it's fun. It changes. It's not the same old thing every time. Everybody can play. You don't have to know anything special. You don't have to have a special skill. So it's fun for the family. So that's that one. I have no idea what game I'm going to review next week. But whatever it is, I mean, if you got something you want to know about, let me know. If I don't have it, which we probably do, if I don't have it, I'll go get it. And I'll review it. And I'll let you know ahead of time. I mean, you don't have to already have the game. If it's just something you're thinking about buying, Leave a comment and let me know what it is. I'll check it out for you. Because uh, I'm, I'm that serious. That mousetrap game upset me so bad, which is why I originally decided to start doing this. I didn't want other people going out buying that game and it being such a piece of shit. It's not worth, it's not worth what it's going to cost us to throw it in the trash can and have it hauled away. So anyways, always 100%. I'll pull no punches. It doesn't matter what company, what game. If it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. But if it's good, just like this, don't wake daddy, I'm going to tell you it's good. So, until next time, have a great day. Make someone laugh if you can. I am Bob Six. Peace!